Today's recipe is apple chips. Often when we make pies, tarts, and crisps, we're left with the apple skins and cores. How can we use these scraps? My favorite recipe is apple chips. They are crunchy and sweet and super easy to make. We will use the following today. Peeler, apples, paring knife, cutting board, a bowl, as well as cinnamon and sugar. Let's start by peeling all the apples. If you already have these left over from your pie or crisps, feel free to jump ahead. The size of the peels doesn't matter. Try to make them similar in size so they cook evenly. Hold on to your apple cores. You can use them to make pectin. Now that we have all of our apple peels, we're going to coat them in brown sugar and cinnamon. We're going to start by spreading one teaspoon of brown sugar over the apple peels. Any sugar will work. I'm using brown sugar. I'm going to add equal parts cinnamon, so another teaspoon. Feel free to add a little more to your liking. Now just toss until the peels are evenly coated with sugar and cinnamon. You can really smell that cinnamon. At the end, you should have peels covered in sugar crystals and cinnamon. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper. If you don't have it, that's okay. It will just be more clean up later. I'm going to pour my peels on the sheet and start to spread them out. Try to spread them out in one single layer. This way they will cook evenly and become evenly crisp. Great, now let's move on to the cooking. Put them in an oven preheated to 225 degrees Fahrenheit or 107 degrees Celsius for about an hour and a half or until they're crisp and curled up. I had the peels of about five apples. If you have more or less, your cooking time will need to be adjusted. I let them cool for 10 to 15 minutes and this is the final result. They are super crispy and have these wonderful curls that formed in the oven. So crunchy and sweet. You can eat them right away or keep them in an airtight container for up to a week. Voila! Enjoy your apple chips!